She skipped out on Ben Affleck's wedding, and that was just a start. Jennifer Garner is clearing her schedule, and it's getting TV shows canceled. Here's everything you need to know. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez reunited in late spring 2021, shortly after Lopez ended her engagement to New York Yankee slugger Alex Rodriguez. Affleck and Lopez initially tied the knot in Las Vegas in July 2022, and in August they said I do again in front of family and friends. According to People, the duo wed at Affleck's ritzy 87-acre estate just outside of Savannah, Georgia. Several famous faces, including Affleck's best friend Matt Damon, were there for the big day. While the weekend went off without a hitch, one famous name was not in attendance — Affleck's ex-wife Jennifer Garner. According to Hollywood Life, the mother of three did not attend the ceremony, even though her three children did. A source close to the situation told the outlet, "...Jennifer Garner is hard at work on a project in Texas and won't be attending the wedding celebration. But she's been totally supportive of her kids being there and is really positive in general about the whole thing." The same insider shared that Garner's children's happiness is her main priority, so the fact that they all have bonded with Lopez is a positive development in their mom's eyes. "...You got a heart of gold, that's your problem." <laughs> That said, it doesn't seem like everything is a positive development for Garner lately. According to an August 21st Deadline report, Garner pulled out of the upcoming Apple TV Plus series My Glory Was I Had Such Friends, based on Amy Silverstein's memoir of the same name, causing the streamer to nix the project entirely. Garner's team has not commented on why she pulled out of the project from J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot and Warner Brothers, but sources revealed that it was due to scheduling issues. The producers still plan to replace Garner and find another home for the series, but a lot of the details remain up in the air. Garner initially signed on for the project in 2018, but it's taken quite a bit of time to get things moving. The outlet points out that Garner is also in the middle of another Apple TV Plus project produced by Reese Witherspoon's Hello Sunshine, the limited series The Last Thing He Told Me, which is based on the novel by author Laura Dave. Interestingly enough, Garner had signed on for Witherspoon's project due to another famous A-lister's own scheduling issue. Deadline reported that Julia Roberts had initially signed on to play the lead role, but pulled out due to a conflict. Garner stepped in, and it's safe to say that Witherspoon still got the big name she seemed to be looking for. Even with having to drop out of a high-profile project, Jennifer Garner seems to be keeping very busy in her professional life. According to her IMDb profile, the actor has several projects in the works, most of them being television series. And she's been racking up credits. In 2021, Garner appeared in the movie Yes Day. In 2022, she teamed up with Ryan Reynolds to star in The Adam Project. Garner told India Today that she loved the story and the people she would be working with when she signed on for the film. Ryan Reynolds, I always wanted to play his mom, but then also getting to work again with Mark Ruffalo was an absolute bonus. It was a no-brainer. There was no way that I was not going to do it. You know I love you. Yeah, I know. I'm extremely lovable. Garner has also been relatively busy in her personal life, and when she's not spending time working or with her three kiddos, she's usually with her boyfriend John Miller. The couple has gone through a few ups and downs in their relationship, but rekindled their romance in 2022. A source told Us Weekly that the pair was doing their best to keep their relationship private, but things seem to be going incredibly well. The insider said, they meet at each other's houses, even for a quick glass of wine or for a low-key dinner date night away from prying eyes. So even though the My Glory Was I Had Such Friends project didn't work out for her, it seems Garner is still in a good place.